What's going on everyone? Philip here. I've had a lot of requests recently to uh, make a video on how to install Kodi on a fresh Amazon Fire Stick or Amazon Fire TV. So the first thing we'll do is go onto the computer. Um, you know, I'm using a Mac, but it works just the same on Windows. So we will get started right now. Okay, here we are at the computer, and what we need to do now is get the computer ready to transfer the files over from the computer to the Amazon device. So the first thing you need to do is open up an internet browser. And we're going to be downloading two things. The first website you need to go to is Kodi.tv. Then you're going to go to the download section. And then right here under the current release, the current release is Kodi 16.1 Jarvis. We're installing it on an Amazon device, so we're going to install the ARM version, so click on that, wait for it to download, once that's downloaded I like to just drag it onto my desktop so I can find it easier. The next site we're going to go to is jocala.com we're going to scroll down. Now depending on which um, computer you're running, I'm running a Mac, but if you're running a Windows computer you need to download this file. Since I'm on a Mac I'm going to be downloading this file right here. It'll bring you to another screen here, right here where it says start download, you hit begin download. Then you're going to click on here, any one of these links, but just click on the primary download. Once that file is downloaded, I'm also going to drag it to my desktop. And then you just install it like you would any other program. If you're on a Windows computer, this is going to be an .exe file. You just double click it and run the installation. On a Mac, double click the .dmg file. It'll open up and just drag your ADB link over to your applications. That's done. We'll close out this window. We can close our browser. And at this time, we're going to head back over to the Fire Stick. Okay, here we are at the Amazon device. We've already registered with Amazon and signed in to our Wi Fi. First thing you need to do is scroll down to Settings, then scroll over to System. Scroll down to Developer Options. You want to turn on ADB Debugging and Apps from Unknown Sources. Select OK. Hit the back arrow on your remote. Go up to About. Go down to Network. And where it says IP Address, you need to write down that number as we will need it when we go back to the computer right now. Okay, now we're ready to transfer the files and install Kodi. We're going to send it from the computer over to the Amazon device. So what you need to do is open up your applications and open up the ADB link that we installed a few minutes ago. Once the application opens, you're going to click on New. Under Description, I'm going to name this Fire TV. You can name it whatever you want. And under this address bar is the number I told you to write down earlier, your IP address. In my case, it was 192.168.1.32. We're going to hit Save. Now we're going to hit the connect button and it should come up with your IP address and under the status it should say device. You want to come down here where it says install APK, you're going to click on that. 
I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where I installed the Kodi file. Here it is right here. So I'm going to click on the Kodi file that we downloaded earlier. Install Jarvis APK. I'm going to click Yes. It'll take a few minutes, so just be patient. And then you should get this message that says install. You click OK. You can now close this. Now when you go back to your Amazon device, you should have a fresh install of Kodi. Now we'll head back over to the Fire device and launch Kodi. Once it's launched, follow my tutorial named Reapkeeper Build on my YouTube channel or install the build of your choice. I will leave the link to the Reefkeeper build tutorial in the description. From this point here, you can install my build using my tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe to my channel, and smack the thumbs up button. Have a great day and enjoy coding.